So I made this chopper e-bike from scrap metal and parts from the dumpster. Now I need to paint it and while I take it apart I will show you everything I used and created to make this e-bike. Let's check out the electronics. I hope this will give you new ideas and maybe inspire you to build a cool e-bike of your own. Although I love power and speed, I decided to use a small brushless hub motor for this chopper. I have another e-bike with a 1.5 kilowatt motor, a massive battery and that bike weighs a ton. It's almost too heavy to be practical as a bike. So now I wanted to build something lighter and see how much real power a motor like this can actually give if the overall structure is not so heavy. I found this hub motor in the dumpster behind a bicycle shop. It had a 700C rim on it and there was no freewheel. I'm not sure why it was put in the trash since it works great. This is a Bafang motor. It's rated at 36 volts and 250 watts. It has planetary gears inside it. I put this motor inside a 26 inch rim and overvolt it to 48 volts. Yes, overvolting a motor is perfectly fine. Just don't go crazy with that. It propels this chopper to about 22 miles per hour, which is not so much. But because it has gears inside, it has a very good wheel to ground torque. So, although this is six times less powerful than the motor on my other e-bike, it still drives me almost as fast up a certain hill near my house as the bigger motor. So that is exactly the effect I was after with this lightweight design. To center this wheel on my slightly crooked chopper frame, I made custom spacers from some pipes. This metal piece here is to protect the wires, which I also put inside a protective plastic tube. That protector is an old piece that was meant to protect the derailleur. I had to drill out the hole bigger to fit this piece on this axle, which is bigger than a normal wheel axle. So to control this system, I chose a very basic cheap Chinese brushless motor controller. This is rated at 350 watts and can operate at 36 or 48 volts. Now it says that this can handle 18 amps which is around 850 watts at 48 volts. And I actually did measure an input power peak of around 800 watts on this controller. So why does it say 350 on the case? Please tell me in the comments if you know why they label this stuff like that. Doesn't make any sense to me. Now this controller doesn't have a display interface or a pedal assist system, but I do have a pedal assist sensor on this e-bike. Check out my video in the description on how to make a pass module like this to have a pedal assist system if your controller does not provide that possibility. Also, I designed this system so I could separate the battery and the controller from the frame with one connector. Video about that is also in the description. Check those out and please subscribe to my channel. Now because of my connector system, I had to limit the amount of appliances on the frame to have less wires. And it's a good thing since I like to keep my design simple. On the frame, now I only have a pass sensor, the throttle with a battery level indicator and one switch for brakes. I really don't need anything else on the frame. If, for example, I would want to have a switch, I would place that on my power block, which is positioned on the frame like a gas tank. And if I need a light, I just attach a flashlight on the handlebar. Now I found this throttle also in the dumpster. This battery level indicator was meant for a 36 volt system. To make it work with 48 volts, I used a variable resistor to find the correct resistance and change the resistor inside the throttle which controls those LEDs. Now about those brake switches. When I made this e-bike, I did not have a single working brake lever with a switch. So I took a regular lever and made this bracket to incorporate a switch into it. I just drew the hole and use some hot glue to place the switch in the right position inside this bracket. And it works fine. First I thought that having one switch on the front brake side will be okay. But I noticed that sometimes I do use the rear brake at the same time as I twist the throttle, which is super not good. So I will be installing a couple of new levers with switches after painting. Also, I have an idea to put a second small motor on the front, since I have one laying around. That would be an interesting project since I will use two controllers and make them work with one throttle. Just need to put a new rim on this old hop motor. And that's it about the electronics. Subscribe to my channel to see my next video about this chopper e-bike. Check out other videos about this project in the description. Ask me in the comments if you have any questions, I will be glad to help you. Please like this video. Thanks for watching.